Hello my lovely darlings. This is a very 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 special video made for Anna Kennedy online to go with my article about the proven scientific and neurological benefits of touch. And I know you'll all be flinging your hands in the air and saying what is this crazy woman doing now talking about touch, you know, with all this social distancing. But I'm not being funny. From what I saw at the weekend with all the pubs open, in reality, in practice, the social distancing was non-existent. My touch, however, boosts immunity and that's what we need. So actually, ministers out there, lovely, lovely Boris, why aren't you letting us therapists work but you're letting pubs open? Anyway, that's for another day and that's not Anna Kennedy's opinion necessarily, but it's mine, just to make it clear. So today, I have got my hands on the lovely Elliot again. Hello. My daughter's boyfriend, the star of YouTube, the one who actually does my videos better than me. If you look on my YouTube, there's a little fill-in one that he did. And little Boo, I'll show you little Boo. Here she is, little Boo the therapy dog having a cuddle with Elliot. So in my article, I discussed all these beautiful, proven, hard scientific facts about touch. So I'm just going to recap over what I wrote and do a little few demonstrations that you can all do um, on yourselves, apart from the back, you can't do your own back, but you can do your heads and you can even do your neck, but you can't do your back. You'll need someone to do that for you or you have to do it for them. But it's purely on a friends and family basis. So whatever you do, don't go zooming up to somebody waiting at a bus stop and start massaging them. That wouldn't be a good idea. They wouldn't like it, okay? So off we go. So touch boosts immunity, as I've said. It balances all your hormones. It fills you with the four main happy hormones and coping chemicals. Oxytocin, love and nurture. You will know this off by heart by now. Um, serotonin, happiness, self-esteem, confidence, endorphins, pain relief, that surge of well-being and happiness. Um, and dopamine, my favourite one, reward, pleasure, motivation, focus, concentration. And all these things give the stress hormone cortisol a flipping good bashing. And that's what we want, because if we're stressed, we're going to get more ill. So touch reduces stress. It's also, and this is amazing, touch is the one sense we have central through our lives. So before we even open our eyes as babies, we explore through touch. And when we pass from this life, the last sense remaining is touch. So Michelangelo said to touch is to give life and human beings need this to thrive. There's been lots of reports written, um, lots of experiments, going back to the controversial experiments of Harry Harlow back in the 1950s. Um, Darlene Francis, Michael Meaden, Tiffany Field in the present day, 30 years of research each, just proving beyond any doubt that human beings need touch to thrive. It boosts bonding, emotional intelligence, less behavioural problems, trust, social intelligence, there's so many things and when you touch the head it's like an absolute map of who we are and even if you don't know exactly which areas of the brain relate to what if you massage the head you're doing a massive work over workout and it's things like empathy empathy we've got a bit of our brains for empathy I find that so exciting we've got an empathy muscle as well um, where was I oh yeah we also on your head you've got areas for reading and processing faces now how fab is that for autistic people for instance you have areas for sensory processing language um, social cognition uh, oh it's endless 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 but I don't want to give you a great big science lesson because you can read a little bit about that in my article so I'm going to show you now with the lovely Elliot <laughs> who I heavily bribe some little techniques that are ever so simple. Now, if you just look at the lower back, 90% of the body's serotonin is in the gut. Oh my God, can you believe it? I can't, it's amazing. So, what would be a wonderful thing to do, we've also got our second brain there, the enteric brain. 
where, as I've said on previous videos, you store um, anger, fear, things you haven't digested or processed. And I don't mean big heavy meals. I mean other stuff. Trauma, it's all there, it's all there. So we want to gently ease that and push up the serotonin. There's also neurotransmitters that act like dopamine in the, in the second brain, in the enteric brain. So you're pushing those up too. So this is a really good one. So I call it going up the ladder because I like to keep things fun and interesting. And, and I even teach my courses like this. We do have a laugh. laugh learn through laughing. That's key. So you've got your fingers there, and I'm sorry, I've bashed my finger there because I was doing gardening. Obviously not just before this massage, that was yesterday. And if you just push your thumbs up like this, and don't break contact, because you know how I love contact. <laughs> you pinched that line from me when you did that video of doing an impersonation of me. Naughty boy. Right, there. You're pushing that up, and it's that movement, like that. And you're pushing that from the gut, up, the sp up either side of the spine. You never go on the spine, you're going on the cerebral spinal fluid. I love motorists, motorcyclists, when they do that in the middle of the videos. And actually, when you get up, you're actually pushing dopamine up the vagus nerve, the fantastic vagus nerve. I love that one, it's my favorite. You're pushing all the dopamine up that as well. So you're flooding the body with these anti-stress hormones, neurotransmitters, and flooding. Elliot is flooded with sheer loveliness. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do, I call this the champagne one, you get the pads of your fingers, not the nails, the pads of the fingers, and you're going up like candy canes, because I like to keep it, you know, fun and friendly. So the either side of the spine, up like this and be deep behind the shoulder bone there and you always go up and it's it really is like shaking up a gorgeous bottle of champagne like that do you feel good Elliot oh I feel amazing I paid him loads mm, there we go that's just two things you can do on the back there's loads you can do on the back but I have to keep it to a time limit um, the neck, the neck is amazing. Just don't work on the neck if somebody has cancer because, or has had cancer recently because of the lymph. We don't want to carry anything nasty in the lymph. However, the vagus nerve begins here, inside, and goes down. So, when we work on the neck, we're getting that dopamine rushing around and filling us with motivation and stimulating oh i brushed the lantern stimulating the whole brain and the higher brain functions that's what we really want to do the higher brain functions things like motivation concentration seeing consequences forward planning organization all of those things all through touch all while they're blissed out their brains are becoming shiny so you just support the forehead and incidentally the reason I'm working through clothes not on the neck on the back is because whenever I work with anybody under 18 or any young person I never 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 do massage skin on skin obviously isn't that lovely oh, everyone should have their necks squeezed because we're always on phones on screens you know, a lot of tension is carried in the neck and it's supporting our big brains, which weigh a lot. I've only got a tiny head, but my brain still weighs loads. I hope it does. I hope, I hope so. So I'm going up like this and I'm right on that vagus nerve. So yes, as I was saying, when you work with children, it's always through clothes. They're usually sitting down, although often I will do them lying down, but not necessarily on, on a massage couch because it's... That's nice for adults, but the kids, I like to just massage them on furry rugs or bean bags. Make it friendly, you know, because a lot of people can be very worried about touch. It's a big, big thing, and they're literally in your hands. So you want to build up that trust and that nurture. It's a very, very, very safe touch. And for some kids, it might be the first safe touch they've ever known. So, you know, you, you, you do it through clothes, but you can adapt it. You, they can lie down, you know, you can have fun with it. Have fun with it, as I always say. 
So that's a really lovely one. And the other thing you could do is sweep down like this. So you keep your fingers really, really straight because nobody, some people don't like to close their eyes. So if they've got your big fingers dangling in their eyes like jellyfish, it will put them off. So, where was I? Oh yeah, Finger sweeping down. So fingers, didn't get a lot of sleep last night, sorry. Mm. I need to do my own head so that I'm all, you know. I've written so many articles today and done so many things. There we go, and that is a beautiful way to wash away that tension and gently just you could that it's a beautiful one and it's very safe and very grounding that one so it's lowering heart rate blood pressure stabilizing everything which we need in these challenging times i need someone to do it to me today yes. so elliot i'm going to take your hat off now darling More than welcome. ready Ding! <laughs> right look at this beautiful hair i can't wait to get my hands on it i love hair i miss touch so the head if you want to really get those beautiful hormones zooming around the head dopamine is the key one and, and it's like clapping this one but you're going round the head like this to the point of melatonin which helps with sleep mood and aggression boo i think i need to do a little melatonin spot and then down the center of the head so it's like this like clapping and you're using the edges of your hands like windscreen wipers I'm slowing it down. Normally I do it a little bit more vigorously, but you're deep in the roots. You're not doing it lightly because all you're going to do is give them a really disgusting hair day and no one will be happy with that. It's a bit mean to do that to people. So you got to, if you're in the roots, you won't get all tangled up. Don't do that with, on anyone with epilepsy, by the way. This is another lovely one. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Mm. It looks so simple. Some of the massage touches look really weird when you see them, but when you have them done, they're divine. And this one that I'm doing now is stimulating all those areas of the head that I was telling you about before. So empathy, compassion, confidence, like reading you know, and processing faces. Feels like light raindrops. Like raindrops, that's how I learned it. He's a clever boy, he's in tune. I mm -hmm. learned this one as raindrops. Mm. But if you've got a child who's musical, you might say, oh, we're going to play the piano now, or tap a tambourine. You turn it into a story, you know. Get them engaged, have fun with it. Always, always, always have fun with it. Because it's safe touch with meaning, with scientific meaning, but that doesn't mean you can't have fun. It doesn't need to be dry and boring. The other thing you can do to really stimulate is this plucking one. So it's, it's like that, but you're, you're in the roots. You're just in, and I go on the temples as well. I'm slowing it down a little bit. But you're in the roots. You're not just pulling their hair. They sh no one should feel like they're having their hair pulled. And this again, you're stimulating the path of dopamine and all those delicious areas of your brains. And you can do it on yourselves as well. And if you're feeling a bit trouble sleeping, you can do that there and there for the melatonin, which helps to regulate sleep and mood. Boo's had it done to her now, so she's being quiet. Mm. The last thing I'm going to show you, because otherwise I'm going to go on forever, is the temples. And again, keep your fingers really straight if you do it with your palms. But a lot of people, particularly those with ADHD, like a firmer touch because it brings them back into their bodies more. This, this is just in my experience. Not everybody with ADHD will like it, so you ask. You know, do you like it like this? or do you like a deeper pressure? Everything is an invitation. So which way do you like it, Elliot? Palms? We will do both. Mm -hmm. you, do you want to turn to the side, darling, a little bit? Here we go, then you can see. I love my job. So really flat like that. I'm not stabbing his eyes with my fingers. Keep them nice and straight. So it's my palms on his temples. Or I can support the head like this. Mm -hmm. It's nicer that way, isn't it? I, like that, I shouldn't yeah. say that. You like it that way I more? I like that way, so, yeah. And you could do that one on yourself. That's nice. So if you're feeling a bit stressed out, and the thing is with the temples, this is amazing. The um, three of the main happy hormones, neurotransmitters, are made and produced and stored here, and dopamine travels up and gets stored there. So it's happy hormone capital city, mm. fun all round. And you can do it on yourself, which I'll show you now. Look, I'm gonna stretch my eyes now, I look really, really awful, <laughs> just for a change. 
Good job I'm not vain. I say this in most of my videos. There. If somebody is sitting there with streaming eyes, you're doing it too hard. So just lighten the pressure a little bit because it's meant to be nice. So it's just like that. And that's it. I'm going to give you a big hug now, Elliot. Big hug back. He's my boy. I love him. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>